Good evening, it's Sophie here going live as usual. I'm outside, I've taken the dog out for a walk, it's the evening. And um, I was just sitting here on the bench and I thought, well, I might as well take my phone and, and, and do this now. It's pretty beautiful. I'll just show you. Uh, ah, no, you can't see. You can see mountains over there, but actually with the sun um, going down over there, you can't see it. But anyway, it's, it's nice. Um, I put a title to this live because I thought it would give me the courage to, to, to talk about it. I said today was a bit rough. <laughs> um, it's hard, isn't it? To Well, I, I promised I would be authentic and I would say, you know, share the good and the bad. But I'm always a little bit reluctant to say when it's when it's more difficult because uh, I think it's because I just don't want people to well I don't want to bring people down really I want to stay positive and I am but um, but yeah I had a little little bit of a rough day today and really it's um, well on my walk I had a, had a bit of time to to think about why and I think it's it's really because I felt, well, yeah, as usual, I've, I'm running around doing a million things and um, trying to build this business in the, in the middle of that. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm part, well, yesterday, it's funny, yesterday I spoke about how wonderful it was that I'm part of a team. And it's true, it is wonderful and it is very encouraging. But today I had a little bit of a, a meltdown because the team is small, there's, you know, they're, they're, as far as I can tell, no one's life is, is quite as hectic as mine. <laughs> Everybody's younger than I am. Um, they're all men. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, you never know do you, what, what other people are going through. But I just, I'm there thinking, <gasps> they're all going so fast and I'm not and I'm kind of struggling to keep up and I realized then that I, I shouldn't do that really I, I should just um well that's what I'm thinking tonight I'm just focusing again on what I can do ah there's mosquitoes um and and try not to constantly constantly think you know the others are doing all this and I'm behind I've just got to focus on on the little that I can do um, and and not on whatever more or better things others are doing because of course when I start doing that I suddenly um, start thinking I'm never ever going to manage um, you know, there's just little things with children. I deal with constant interruptions. I mean, um, there's there's just, yeah, there's always something happening. So either the children need something or... And of course, yeah, I teach them to, to get their own stuff. But still, there's, there's often something. Or my dad, um, either my dad calls or one of the carers calls or... Or then there's something else that we need to do. I mean, it, it's the constant interruptions do make it hard to, well, to get very much done. So that's why I get up early and that's why I, I do, uh, I try to do the work before everybody else is awake. But, um, but yeah, sometimes even that isn't really enough that, you know, so anyway, um, yeah, my, my conclusion tonight is don't focus on, well, follow others who are successful, definitely, but don't set a kind of standard that what they are doing is, or the pace at what they are, they are doing it is, is what you should be doing, because we all in different situations. And for me, it's going to take me longer to, yeah, well, it's just going to take me longer to do things. That's just a fact. And I mustn't get let that get me down. 
Um, so, if you're in a similar situation, I hope um, this can help you a little bit and encourage you a little bit. Just think you're doing the best you can and that, that's great. <laughs> just, just keep going. That's the most important thing. Just keep going. And I'm going to keep going too and I wish you a good evening or a good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!